What is going on guys? Dalton here back with another episode of DC Collects. Today we're talking about whether taking your Funko Pops out of the box will ruin their value. Let's get collecting. Okay guys, so first off I just have to say thank you guys so much. We just hit 5k on the channel and I am absolutely blown away guys. This is really amazing stuff. My hopes and dreams for the channel were to get to a thousand subscribers guys. So this is honestly really amazing and I can't thank you guys enough. There is a giveaway in the works guys. I'm still putting that together but look forward to that coming up soon. But for the topic today, so does taking your Funko Pops out of the box ruin the value of them? And and before we get into it, I will just say that displaying your Funko Pops out of box for me personally is the best way to, this, to display them. But you start running into some issues regarding room and I'm going to explain that coming up. So does taking them out of the box ruin the value? Short answer, if you take it out of the box and discard the box, throw it away where you can never get it back again, then yes, it is going to decrease the value of your Funko Pop. Tip typically, Funko Pops, depending on how popular they were, will go between 30 to 50% of what their value in box is. But that's not to say that you can't take your Funko Pops out of the box. So in saying that here, guys, you can take them out of the box, but you have to be very delicate when taking them out. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get them out without causing any damage to your box whatsoever. Not only that guys but you do want to watch the insert as well so you want to be kind of gingerly with that as well a lot of you may know already but PSA has started to grade Funko Pops and I noticed that one of the categories that they look at is the insert which makes sense but I don't think a lot of people pay too much attention to it especially beginner collectors so just be very delicate with your boxes and your inserts as a lot of the Funko Pop value is attributed to the box the only way to have have your Funko Pop worth the maximum value that it is worth at this current point in time is to have it in perfect condition, box, insert, and figure all in perfect condition. But without further ado, we're gonna pop into this here, guys. So I'm gonna use a knife, but I do recommend that if you're a beginner and you haven't opened too many of these boxes, use a credit card. They're, they just don't have any sharp points, and if you do accidentally shove this into the actual side of the box or something like that, you can mess it up and I do know that you can get a little bit shaky your first couple of times if it's a really expensive pop and you're really worried about damaging it but I will just show you guys here right now guys so you're just gonna stick your credit card or knife if you've done this before and this one's already starting to pop up for me but I just twist the knife and it comes up usually if it's giving you trouble you want to have your knife right up against the back guys and then you can just pull out like that and then you're just going to spin the box around. And again, guys, just insert your knife on the side. Try to get as far to the opening as possible, close to the opening as possible, I should say. And again, you're just gonna pull up, guys. And see how it did give me a little bit of trouble there, so you do just wanna make sure that you're looking at if it's binding or not, and just play with it until it wiggles out. And as you guys can see, absolutely there'd be no way to tell that you'd opened up this box so and again guys just taking out this insert i do recommend opening the flaps a little bit cool little tidbit on this j jonah jameson pop guys they do have the spider-man logo there really like that one and we're just gingerly pulling out the insert guys after we have folded the tabs back you want to make sure that this is out of the way so you don't bind anything and pull it out like that and then also guys i find that i see a lot of people trying to just kind of pull this out of the insert but like i said you want to be pretty delicate with it so i recommend just open get all the tabs open before you pull your character out so that way it's not getting stuck nothing's getting bound up and you're not going to damage anything indefinitely but as i said guys so out of box pops definitely one of my favorite ways to display a funko pop i mean even if the 18 inch funko pops did have a display window which they don't i would not keep this in a box because it is just would not be justified you have to see this thing out of box to get the full effect of it 
but the only downside is space guys so if you're keeping all your box out of box you are going to also have to find a spot to still keep your boxes as long as you want to retain the Funko Pops full value in the future so if you do want to display all your pops out of box that's fine but I highly recommend finding a place a very safe place to keep the boxes as like I said a lot of the value is attributed to a very minty box it can have some damage guys but the mintier the box the more you're gonna get for the pop and on the other side of that scale the more degraded the more devalued that pops gonna be so yes definitely something to consider guys and for me my collection is starting to get quite large and I definitely don't have the space to have all my pops out of box so I do just have a, a few which I really don't mind even if the boxes do go missing to be honest with you so that's kind of how I've been doing things but let me know down in the comments down below guys are you out of box or an inbox collector as you guys can see I am in box and I just kind of explained why but I love my out of box pops guys so fun to find those in the wild too so fun to find little collections that someone has for sale and there's no boxes and you just have to guess the characters one of my favorite parts of finding them if you do enjoy content like this consider hitting that like button smashing that subscribe button and turning on post notifications so you don't miss when I come out with more content guys but anyways that is all I have for you for today thanks so much for watching we'll catch you in the next video